Yo, what's good, y'all? It's your boy LB, and we we are gonna look into this video. It's um Mario Lopez finally admits to affair with Jeannie May, GZ Lash out. I want to take a look to see what's going on. I'm all. Thank you, right? Thank you. I'm all, and I also know. N-U-N, that's oh, I love you, he's a that's I love you. Young Jesus filed for a divorce from Jeannie Ma after finding sex tea with host Mario Lopez. So what I do, I go look it up. So it said explicit pictures or explicit text messages. So it looks like Jeannie Mae's rumored side piece might have just spilled the real tea about their divorce and it is crazy. Mario Lopez has finally broken his silence about his alleged romance with Jeannie and it looks like he is finally admitting to having an affair with her. Well, Jeezy is not taking this lightly because he just lashed out at Jeannie and Mario, and it looks like the drama is about to get insane. You know, it was just always instances where I just knew that this wasn't gonna work out for me, right? So I had to figure out how to change without losing everything. Y'all, I swear, every time we talk about Jeannie Mae and Jeezy's divorce, some new drama comes up and makes the situation even worse and messier than we ever thought was possible. This started off as a regular old celebrity divorce, but it quickly became messier than anyone could have expected. Jeezy took us by surprise last week when we found out that he had suddenly decided to file for divorce from Jeannie out of the blue. At first, we all kind of assumed that they had been having issues in their marriage, but chose to keep it out of the media, and that would explain why the situation caught us by surprise. But but then, if they had been having issues, we would have heard something about it in the media, but there were no whispers in the media, right. which was weird. But then, the divorce went from being confusing to being outrightly wild when we found out that not only had there been no major issue in the marriage, but Jeannie didn't even know that they were getting a divorce because Jeezy blindsided her with the divorce. Oh, yeah, I, I was told that. I was told that. She wasn't expecting to get divorce papers, and this was obvious because she had been talking about Jeezy on social media and how much she loved him. I mean, two or three days before he filed, she made a cute post on Instagram celebrating the success of his new book. She said, Today I celebrate a remarkable milestone achieved by my husband, Jeezy, whose memoir Adversity for Sale has soared to the New York Times bestsellers list. This moment isn't just a testament to your literary skills, baby, but a recognition of your ability to inspire through the power of storytelling. I'm endlessly grateful for your voice in this world. Honored to walk beside you, my love. Yeah, that certainly doesn't sound like someone who knew they were on the brink of a divorce, and this caused people to suspect that she was blindsided by it all. It got even worse when we found out that he had filed divorce papers back in June, and he even got it signed and notarized back then. So <laughs> what? <laughs> yo, Jeezy, yo, he from the hub, bro. You're not going to play with nobody? Damn, this is a lot of information. Okay, okay. So for three months, he knew that he was getting a divorce, but he continued to play the role of perfect husband and father to Jeannie and their daughter, Monaco. It's just wild to think that he stuck with her for so long and didn't even give her a hint that he was even thinking of leaving her. This made fans super mad and they started to paint him as the villain because he basically forced Jeannie to give up some of her personal beliefs so that she could be the perfect wife for him. For example, before they met, she revealed that she didn't want to get married again and definitely didn't want kids. Well, when she started dating Jeezy, she fell head over heels in love with him and was convinced that they were meant to be together. We're grown grown, we're in our 40s. And what yeah. I think is that God that somehow done. managed our timing so that we spent time after our long-term relationships. Yeah. We both came from 10 year relationships. And we really worked on ourselves to really understand what healthy love is like. He even convinced her to have kids. And a year after they got married, she gave birth to their daughter, Monaco. So people dragged Jeezy for pressuring Jeannie to change who she was and what she wanted, only for him to turn around, dump her all of a sudden, and make a single mom, which is the very thing she was scared of. But it turns out that Jeezy might might not have been at fault here because insiders started to claim that the reason he filed for divorce was that he found out that Jeannie had been cheating on him and having an affair with her co-anchor Mario Lopez. Now, one thing oh. that people have been talking about Okay about since Jeezy filed for divorce is that he clearly wanted to hurt her because there was no reason for him to blindside her like that. Well, unless he was a psychopath or sociopath or something like that. With the allegations of cheating, people started to figure out that was why Jeezy was cruel. He was trying to get his revenge on Jeannie and also humiliate her in the process. Rumors of Jeannie and Mario having an affair quickly went viral on social media, but it wasn't all that unbelievable because people had always talked about how Jeannie and Mario had a great connection with each other. Even before this divorce drama came up, there was talk about how they had this flirty energy and people wondered if there was more going on between them than just being co-workers. I mean, just take a look at how they couldn't keep their hands off of each other in this video. Oh, Jeannie Mai. First day at the job, guys. Hey, <laughs> proud of Whoa! Nah, if my wife is getting held by a dude that used to play Saved by the Bell, America's most sexiest man. I have a problem with this too. 
Cause he ain't like he put the hand in and put it off. He put the hand in and stayed. Okay. Vietnamese girl, we're both first generation. I'm gonna have her hook me up with some uh, Vietnamese. Then there's also the fact that Jeannie herself has admitted that she prefers white men over black men. Love. She said that. Oh my God. Black guys. Yeah. Jeez, yeah. yeah. I did. I did. But for me, dark meat on the side, white keeps me mean and lean. You know, that's why. I Can't marry someone like that. I'm married white man. That's what I like. Saying this when you're married to a black man is just wild, and it kind of lines up with what people have been saying about the affair. But what makes this really wild is the fact that Mario had a great personal relationship with Jeannie's family, including Jeezy. So this means that Mario was messing around with Jeannie while hanging out with her husband and her child, and that made everything look even worse. I mean, he even kissed her child. Mama. Oh my God. What are you doing? Like, what are you doing? Oh this dude is slime. He is slime. You gonna kiss my child after you smash my wife? It's crazy. I know. Yeah, it's a very messy situation, but then an insider spoke to Entertainment Tonight and revealed that the real reason for the divorce was that the marriage was no longer serving their needs. The source said, This is a good video. I'm happy I came across this YouTube channel. It's like a small, it has like 18K subscribers, but I'm, I'm, I got an idea that somebody bigger owns this channel and they're just using this to create more revenue. But yo, the, the editing's on point, the thumbnail's on point, damn. Jeezy and Jeannie Mae's pending divorce stems from different views. They had different views and each felt like their needs weren't being completely met. This didn't say anything about cheating and that's why people feel like this was Jeannie and her PR team at work and they were trying to clean up her image. The cheating allegations kind of affected her public image and this made it look like damage control from her team. The situation got messier when Jeezy threw some shade at Jeannie saying, too focused on who I'm becoming to focus on who's not coming with me. This oh, okay made it even more obvious that he was mad at Jeannie and was trying to get his lick back by blindsiding Jeannie with the divorce. Things got even worse when Tamar Braxton, who was Jeannie's co-host on The Real, spoke up about her divorce and she also claimed that it was probably Jeannie's fault. Again, it's not all that surprising that Tamar would point fingers at Jeannie because they have never really liked each other, even when they were both on the show. They never even tried to hide their dislike of each other and Tamar even told Jeannie to her face that she didn't like her. You know who I didn't hit it off well with oh. at the beginning? Miss Persnippity over here. <laughs> Hi, right, bro. I I, I kind of got the gist of this video, and um, wow, 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 wow. Makes a lot of sense. Why? Like everybody was wondering, like, yo, why they got a divorce? 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 Tells that yo, 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 yo. It's like you can't. Let's go on YouTube and search it. Somebody's gonna make a a. A documentary style video in eight minutes that's gonna be the best this video is gonna get a million views bro I'm, I'm i guarantee you bro anyway yo i appreciate all you guys um that's rocking with me man um it feels good to make this type of content i'm gonna tap in with the creators of this channel and um definitely give you guys like four more type of videos like this so if you guys are interested in that um just make sure you guys sub to the channel you know what i'm saying i try to post as frequent as i possibly can all right. Um, anyway, catch you guys on the next one. I appreciate you guys so much. Um, join the Discord. Like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on shop um, on my Instagram. I'm a photographer in um, in Charlotte. Um, if you want to donate to the channel, you can. My cash app is right there. All right. It's your boy Mula. Let's go.